We're filming. We're filming now? Yeah. Look, Ethan, you're on film, sweetie. Up, 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 up. Yeah, you want to go in? Hey, we got, we got what, an angry dude and the new owner of a what? It's a Tiffin Wayfair LW. 2019? 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. Ooh, fresh off the line. Right off the line. We just got it on Monday and today's Friday. Let's... So we're going to go and we're going to see. You want to go see? Okay, Where would you, you like come... to start the tour of your rig? Well, it's kind of dark to see the outside, but I think, you know, the outside has pretty, been pretty well documented before. The difference between this and a TW is that the, um, the bed area in the back is higher. There's actually two steps to get up to the bed area, and that's because it has a garage instead underneath. So by lifting the twin beds, you now have this really large garage. It's open from side to side. It's about, about three feet high. I would say it's almost four feet tall, actually. It's probably about three and a half feet. It's pretty big. We'd have to look and see what the measurements are. It's big enough for Ethan to get in. Yeah. You'll have a play can, area for Ethan. Totally put a baby in there for sure. Yeah. Say hi, Ethan. Say hi, Uncle Alan. Yeah. In there. Yeah. So it looks like your dad's put a lot of stuff in it. So is this baby storage? Uh, well, I don't think so. I think this is grown up storage. Oh. You ready to go inside? Let's go inside. Okay, so this is the LW. Uh, the floor plan is basically the same as a TW, which has been out for a while. Um, microwave convection oven up top, storage, sink, gas stove, two burner gas stove. We have four drawers below, and then another uh, storage cabinet here. The thing that really sold me was that we have a in-house vacuum cleaner which is going to help because we have a, a dog that sheds quite a bit. So in the four days that you have now owned and spent in the Tiffin, mm -hmm. is there anything you can change about the kitchen layout? No, I think the kitchen's fine. Um, it'd be nice to have the extra storage. I know a lot of models, um, not just Tiffin, but other brands as well, have a pantry, a slide out pantry. But the reason we went with this is because it has a separate shower and a separate bathroom. And so you give up the, the closet and the pantry with the shower zero to awesome baby is there anything you would change about the kitchen he said he doesn't want to be teething you do get different choices for this area here you can have um, the sofa bed you can have the recliners or you can have a dinette we went with the recliners so push button they're electric the power's not on right now but they're just push button electric and just like what recliners do okay <laughs> there we go so you can put yours out Dem. Okay. There we go. As Alan would mention, the fridge is very convenient to the recliner. It is. One of the ones. It is. Mm -hmm. Freezer, fridge. Within arm's distance. Lower fridge. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. So this is the slide part that goes in and out. Carry it over to my mouth. Yay. Oh, look at Ethan's like, I'm going to spill it on you. <laughs> you tell me to make sure you don't drink too much. So, have you lounged here and watched TV? Yes, on we your have. Fine big yes, screen? we have. Mm -hmm. such a good little yep, we've watched thinker. something off of the phone on Netflix, yeah, and yeah. we've also done Everybody local went. TV. Okay. We get in and we search for the local TV stations, and they come up. It's nice and clear, and yeah, we've been watching in so the evening the news. What are you thinking to keep in your over, over recliner um, storage? Well, this is probably going to be in lieu of the pantry, so okay. this is probably where our food stash will stay. You know, basically, probably, more than likely, um, dishes, pots and pans, those kind of things down here. And then between that cabinet and this cabinet will be our pantry. Right. And we know that we have to travel light, and that's something that, that we're willing to do. And that functions as a stove oven as well? Yes, it's a microwave and a convection oven. Oh, yeah. Also, we have a ladder situation yep, here? Yep, we have the um, bed over cab, and so that'll be when Ethan gets a little bit older and he can go with us. That's where he'll be sleeping. And so you don't bonk your head, that center That's cushion right. folds up? Yes, it does fold up away? so that you can actually walk into yeah. the cab area and you can walk out of the cab area. Is there somewhere to store it yeah. when it's folded up or? 
Does it? No, just it just lays up there. Tuck it out of the way. Yeah, I mean, you could put it in the garage, but right, right now it's just us, so we're just leaving it up there. There we go. Would you like to show us the ensuite bedroom? Yes. Um, before we leave here, there's um, you'll notice these little silver areas in the bottom. This is where you can have tables. So there was a small table and a large rectangular table. And we have been using the small one for food prep and just to put things on when you come in. You know, like where do you put your keys? Where do you put something that you have in your hands? Yeah, I really don't want to put them on the sofa, so we've been putting them on the table. So we've been leaving the table up. Okay, I don't know if you can see really well, but this is um, a separate washroom and a separate shower. So there's a separate sh uh, bathroom. And it's got lots of storage. It's got a medicine cabinet under sink cabinet and over here we even have another cabinet and a power outlet next to the toilet in case your phone dies while you're on the toilet probably for your razor electric toothbrush okay. that makes more sense yeah okay if you want to come down this way we'll open it from the other side and for the shower this is a good size shower is there a light in the shower? Um, it's controlled by the bathroom. Oh, bathroom light controls shower. Yeah, bathroom light controls shower. Do you have light now? No. Well, I don't know why. It did it the other day when I turned it on. Yep. Have you used the shower? Yes, we have used the shower. The only thing that I would suggest for everyone is that you wipe down the inside before you let it roll back up because this is basically just like a, uh, a shade mm -hmm. and if you don't then the water just drips right down and it can come out the bottom so um, I would wipe it down not only that but just to prevent mold what do you do. put your soap and shampoo and things um, we're gonna have to figure out something because this one does not come with a corner shelf I have noticed that some other models do have corner shelves this one does not so we'll come up with something is this an actual skylight in the shower that is a skylight for tall okay. people mm -hmm. okay so there's two steps up to the bedroom area, and I will give you some advance notice that this is a low ceiling in here because of the two steps up. Um, John is five foot ten, and his head touches the ceiling. So for me, it's no problem, but for John, he just fits. So anybody over five foot ten is going to have to lower uh, their head a little bit. I'm five ten. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't think he's five ten. Really? You think he shrank a little bit? Because I'm five ten. Oh, okay. And the other that, or you're more clearance. than five ten. Yeah, oh, well, I lie about being five ten. I'm really yeah. only like five nine and three quarters. <laughs> um. So when we saw this model at the Hershey uh, RV show in August or September, rather, it was in September. This was not here. This was laid out just like the twin. And so we were surprised when we came in and we actually got our unit that we saw this wardrobe. But it's really kind of nice because it's about five inches deep and it does have a rack up top so you can actually hang hangers there. So it's probably where we'll keep our jackets, our raincoats, things like that. In the first version, the prototype you saw in Pennsylvania, they put the TV on that back wall. Yes, they did. We, when we ordered ours, we opted not to have a TV. So that's where it was. So if you do get a TV, I don't know. Do they look at your order and say, oh, we're going to give you a wardrobe instead? Or do they put the TV somewhere else? Because the TV uh, hookups are over here in the corner. Right there. Those are the TV hookups. Right. So you have light controls for the entire camper. Light controls, thermostat. thermostat. Yeah, this is the access panel to the shower. Okay. You know, so they have to get into that. Lots of plugs, yep, USB we have, outlets. We have two shelves. We've got USB up here. So this is great. This is where we put our phones. Yeah, those were that's Cable. What was down on there. Uh. Yeah, Dad just took it off. On this one over here, this is where the electronics are. This is actually an empty cubby over here. So that's all the clothes that John can have. <laughs> one foot by one foot by yeah. one and foot. And they are soft clothes up until the point that they have to be latched. Okay. So they will self close, and then you have to latch them yourself. And so in your control center here. Yeah. You have, it looks like, solar inverter or solar charge controller, mm -hmm. uh, cable antenna switcher. The generator. Power the, inverter. The Truma Aqua. The heater, the yeah. hot water heater. Okay. It's all wired for solar. That's a lot of wires. And Dad does want to put solar in. 
think you already have a solar panel on the roof. Yes, we do. So more solar? Yeah, he said he does want to put more solar. More solar. Okay, on the other side, same thing. We got shelves, but over here we do have two compartments that are empty. And they are, and it is one long one, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about having, you know, just a little bit of room. You can put something big back there. Is that all the clothes that you get? I get more clothes than that. <laughs> Who gets the down here clothes? <laughs> okay, that's another. You'll think that there's no more storage in here, but there actually is more storage. Under, I call this the left side. Under the left side, there's this little cubby here where the table comes. But, of course, you know, you can always put a little bit more stuff in there. It doesn't take up the whole space. Yeah. <laughs> On the right Good. side, or the driver's okay. side, there is a wardrobe on the driver's side. It's very deep. I think it's almost like 33 inches deep. It does have a hanger so you can actually hang clothes on it. And there's one more. But wait, there's more? There's more. There is more. Below the floor, there's actually another cubby. Yeah. <laughs> you can fit even more stuff in there. So there's even though we don't have the pantry and don't have the tall wardrobe like the like the TW does, we actually do have quite a bit of storage. Now so. the situation has developed on your recliner. Oh. We're comfortable. Is this usually what happens? Just strangers we roam on in. We just invite our neighbors in, and we just have a party. And this is a trash can over here. You can access it from the bottom. I didn't think I would like that kind of a trash can, but actually I kind of do like it. Just very, open it up and yeah. throw things away? Just throw things away, yep. And so you selected, what, the paint scheme, the interior floor colors, wall colors, wood colors, <laughs> yes. throw pillow. The only interior thing you could not select was the front seat co colors. Right, you can um, change the front seat covers. Um, Sprinter with this 2019 model, there's actually airbags in the seats. So they couldn't change out the seat covers for the traditional light colored, tiffin embroidered seat covers. They had to leave them exactly as is because of the airbag. Potentially in an upcoming video, you have some ideas to reconfigure the bedroom area. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we have some thoughts, but they may or may not work. So. AKA, we're gonna cut their camper apart. <laughs> so far it's doing really, really good in four or five days. So let's just hope it keeps on going. Well, until next time, this is us reminding you that when you buy a new camper, don't forget to bring your upside down grandchild with you. Hey, grandchild. <laughs> now he's right side up and we're all upside down. What's that? It's a little does she know. Some Everything fuzzy? she's saying now is being recorded and pumped into this camera. I'm gonna pick it apart. <laughs> that was also recorded and pumped into this camera. Was I not? Do you not remember anything your father explained? Open the cabinet, Alan. Do you not put me in this? <laughs>